Welcome back everybody, it's Daniel. In the past couple of videos, we've been making this recycler view, a list of kind of like a contacts app or maybe your friends or family or that kind of stuff. Um, so right now we have a circle image of the profile picture. We have the name and that's about it. We have about like 10 or 15 people here, but you'll notice one of the things is we have all of the photos are the same. So in this video, we're gonna fix that. So we're gonna actually, uh, at least for now, we're gonna bake the images into the app, but later we'll download them from the internet. So for now, we're just gonna do this. First thing we need to do is we need to add some photos. So I have Finder up here, or not Finder, Windows Explorer, just whatever you have on your Mac, Windows, or PC. These are just some random photos, and you'll notice they have each have a name, and there are no spaces in the name. They're all lowercase, they're just no spaces. You can use underscores, but for this case, I just all lowercase, no spaces. I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of those. So copy those. And I'm gonna go into the resources drawables and I'm going to paste them inside of here. So I'll just paste them inside of there. Should ask me if I wanna go in there. Yeah, it's all good. Now you'll notice we can actually open these up and there's the photos of our people there. So uh, I can save this and I'm gonna run it. Go back to the emulator and we shouldn't notice any changes yet because all we did was just place them in the drawables folder. We aren't actually using them yet. So you'll notice if we go back to our friends adapter, we have, we, we, oh, in the past couple of videos, we kind of talked about this on bind view holder. So this will happen right here for every single row. So, you know, the first row, second row, third row, it's gonna just do all of that for each row. And right now we're just setting its text, the friend title to first name and then last name, which is exactly what we get here. We get a first name and last name, Daniel Malone, Mel Malone, Hannah Malone. So um, let's, Okay, so let's go, let's, let's, let's do this. So we have our images in here. Let's go to best friend. And we need to actually, this is kind of our data model. It's a, yeah, data class, it's a data model. Let's add the photo here. So let's do this. Let's do val, we'll call this photo. We'll call this um, friend photo. And this is going to be an integer, so int. Uh, that's what we're gonna use for this. Now, if I run the app, you'll notice it might crash or it will crash because we added, so we have first name, last name, and email. We just added friend photo, but if I control click on this to see where it's used, you'll see it's used in main activity a bunch. So I'm just gonna go to a random one of these, and you'll notice it should give us an error. Yeah, and it does. So if you put your mouse over near the end, it says, no value passed for friend photo. So what we can do, put a comma, so right after email address there, right after email address, and after the quotes, do this. Put a comma and then do r.drawable dot, and we'll do person one. So that gets rid of the error for that. We're gonna need to do the same thing for all of them because our best friend, we added the friend photo. So for every single time we have a best friend, we're gonna need to do the same thing. And we're getting errors for all of those right now. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna paste that in there. Paste, paste, oops, paste, paste paste and you get the idea just do this do what I'm doing here paste it all in there so right now if we were to run this this won't make us any this won't give us any changes because um, even though we were setting up inside of main activity inside of main activity here even though we're setting up our list of friends we're not actually using it so we're saying hey we're gonna set a person one there but back in our friends adapter for this recycler view we're not using it anywhere inside of there so we can change that but first let's go ahead and save this and i'm just going to do random i'm going to do person two there let's do person three there just to make it random or one of these can actually be we, all, we, all, we already have daniel malone so one of these could be daniel malone and if in, and in reality you'd want to you would want to paste in a new photo for each person so you want to paste in like 10 10 photos um, in this case, for simplicity, I'm just doing person one, but you get the idea. You can paste in, you know, 20, 30, 40, 100 different photos, um, and then just, just uh, whatever you call them. I, I named mine person two or whatever. Just name it person two. Uh, yeah, just person two, whatever one you want to make person two. So I'm going to save this, and if I were to run this, this should work just fine, but it shouldn't, it shouldn't crash, but it's not actually going to show our photos here. So let's go back to our friends adapter. Our friends adapter is where we... Uh, have set up our recycler view. So let's do this. Let's do holder. Oh, actually, just, just to explain something, let's go back to our my friend layout. So you'll notice we have our image view here. And again, I'm not in design mode, I'm in text mode, but we have our image view there and we give it an ID of image view. So I'm gonna call this photo of 
of uh, let's do a photo of my friend. So we'll name it that. The ID, the ID is photo of my friend. So I'm gonna save that, reformat it. That's good. And if we were to run this, nothing should change. Just to confirm it doesn't crash. Um, I'm gonna run it, and there it is. Just fine. We still haven't actually shown our new images yet, but we're working on it right now. So let's open up Friends Adapter. Okay, inside of Onbind View Holder, let's do this. Holder dot view dot, and then let's do, what was it called? Photo of my friend. Let's do this dot, I think it's set image drawable. And what we're gonna do here is we need to pass in a drawable. So it's gonna be our, so we have access to our friend right there. So again, we're getting up at the top here, we have a variable. This is a list of all of our friends. So that's what that means right there. It's gonna be a list of friends. So it's not just one friend, it's like 100 friends or 10 friends or five friends or whatever. In this case, it's about 10 friends. So what we do down here is we say, hey, our friend is gonna be all of our friends, but first, instead of all of our friends, just get the one at the position. So this is gonna be zero, one, two, three, four, five, 10, 100, 1,000, or whatever. So we're gonna get that position. So we have access to our friend. So we're gonna do friend dot, and then we'll do, what is it called? Friend photo. And this is gonna give us an error because it wants a, if you, put, if, you, if you notice the red underline underneath there, it gives us an error. So if you put your mouse over it, you can actually see what the error is. And in this case, it's saying there's a type mismatch. It's, re it's required to draw, but we got an end. So let's do this. Let's do get drawable. Actually, let's do this. I think we need to do holder dot view dot context dot get drawable. That's just something we have to type. Then I'm going to get rid of the closing one and I'm going to put it at the end. And I think this will work. I think this will work. So what we're doing is with this line right there, that line actually gets the friend photo from there and from from there and we're actually gonna do something with it. So we're saying, hey, holder, get the view for photo of my friend. And again, we can control click on there and it goes right to our image view. So that's, that's perfect, exactly what we want. Then we're gonna set the image for that. We're gonna set the image for this image view here and we're gonna do it with our friend photo there. We kind of need to get a context, so we have holder.view.context.getDrawable. That kind of means, hey, go into our system and get the image, whatever is in, whatever image is inside of there. So I'm gonna run this, and I don't know if this will work or not, but let's just see together. This might crash, let's just see, and oh, cool. So there we are, so now we have different photos. And some of them are the same, that's because uh, just in main activity, I was lazy and didn't do a very good job. So we can do four, four, one, we'll do two, three, four, just to make it random. So yeah, you can just add your, just add more photos here and paste them in. So just like I copied and pasted them in from here, copy and paste them into there. And then if you have, you know, 10 or 20 photos, just paste them all in there. I'm just putting random images for there, but let's run it one more time. And I think this, yeah, there we go. So now we have images for each of our friends. So this is kind of nice, but this is a little bit of a hassle because we have to like, get our images here, we have to paste them into Android Studio, we gotta do it for every single one. There's gotta be an easier way, and there is. So in the next video, what we might do is we might actually download these images from the internet. Um, I might get to get into Firebase if there's, an ex, if there's enough interest. Um, so to kind of sum it up, first we went into best friend, in, in our data model here, which is called best friend, we added a new line for friend photo, the type is an integer, which is exactly what those are right there. We went into main activity and we added, for each one of these, we added a photo at the end for all of those, all of those right there, all the way to the last one. And then inside of our friends adapter, we added that line there that basically kind of got our friends photo from our layout here, which is that photo right there. And what we did is we called set image drawable on there and we had a holder.view.context, kind of just what we need. We got uh, get drawable and we were passing in our friend photo. So if I were to control click on this, you'll see, hey, that comes from right there. 
So I'm gonna save it, and I guess I didn't make any changes, so it will look the same. You get the idea. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, connect with me on LinkedIn. I'll put a link in the YouTube description because I like to connect with people. Uh, if this was helpful, if you have future requests or you want a video on something, uh, something specific, let me know and I'll try to make it. Or just leave a comment in the YouTube video below. I usually read all comments. I just don't have time to respond to all of them. But if you like this or if this helped you, leave a comment below and I'll, get, I'll, I'll read it. So uh, hopefully you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.